Officer Walter Christopher is now behind bars here at the Baltimore County Detention Center. His arrest Tuesday comes after investigators looked into IT and cell phone records, and they saw a pattern in the series of arsons. Our investigators were initially called for just uh, two trash cans that were set on fire inside uh, one of the college buildings. That's how the arson cases on University of Maryland, Baltimore County's campus started back in December. A few weeks later, they got two more, you know, in two different buildings. Uh, our investigators again were assisted by UMBC police. And it didn't stop there. Books and billboards started going up in flames inside more school buildings, including Sherman Hall. And then we started seeing inconsistency of where one police officer was responding to each one of them. Uh, that kind of spurred our interest and that kind of kicked off of where we needed to look at this a little bit more. That hunt grew when the fires returned in April. Each time fire alarms went off and the first officer to the scene was Walter Christopher, the lead investigator, also allegedly responsible for the fires. And it's crazy to think that someone there set fire to campus and for what? I don't know, it's kind of shocking. Students say they couldn't believe it. A police officer arrested by his own department. Christopher allegedly set a total of four fires while on duty. The 36-year-old is now charged with multiple counts of arson. It's a possible where it's a vanity or a hero type of situation. You know, is did he want to, you know, be the first one in to try to discover the fire and also be that hero? I can't speak that directly if that's exactly what this is, but it certainly appears that way. UMBC sent out a statement Tuesday saying Christopher has been on their force for two years, writing, quote, we take these allegations very seriously and will continue to cooperate with law enforcement authorities as the case moves through the judicial process. He's being held on 12 counts without bond and does have a bond review on Wednesday. For now, in Baltimore County, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.